Hi everyone, Quincy here. Today I'd like to share a simple project. It extends control for managing the actual surface principle as dynamic secret or just in time credential. Please note that this is not an official extension nor a product review. This is only done for the purpose for visualizing the feasibility and potential of having control for managing dynamic secrets. So let's take a look at the environment we have. So on my local machine, I have a Docker installed, and I have several containers running on top of it. We have the Condor OSS here, and I also spin up an Envoy as front end proxy for routing the incoming HTTPS traffic. And we have a develop a Python script for SRS API web server, which also includes the Azure CLI client for managing the Azure Active Directory on the cloud. So let's take a look at the CRI client. Here I have an extended CRI client installed. As you can see here, I have three new options. So the last two of them is for installing and removing control and related diamond setup. So now let's take a look at the GIT or just in time options here. If you type control GIT, if it gives you the three key steps to enable the dynamic secret for Azure Service Mission Support. The first one is to enable it. So let's try it out. So in order to talk to Azure, we need to have some key information like subscription ID. So I'll view in a random one here. Tenant ID. The client ID, just the username, as well as the password. And this information will be stored in control as variables. So in order to facilitate this demonstration, I prepare a little script for updating my own credentials to this demo setup. Next, we will create a road for Azure. So let's create it. Say for example, let's create a road called my readers. And I would like to have three min uh, five minutes of time to life, as well as it will be the reader road on Azure. When you click enter, this information will be saved as a variable in the Congress world. You can notice that we are also updating the policy dynamically. Next, we'll create the service principle. So you can type Condor GIT Azure get service principle. And we will use the rows that we just created, which is my readers. When you click on it, the CRI client will talk to the Envoy Finance Server for HTTPS as REST API call, which will route to the Python server, which will trigger the Azure um, AD client and talk to Azure to create a service principle. As you can see here, the service principle is created. All the information like the application ID, the road, um, the expiry date, the password, and other information are shown here on the screen. So let's verify if it is great correctly. If we copy the application ID and place it to the access control in the Microsoft Azure portal um, under subscription um, I am here. Click you know, place it. You should be able to find a new service ID here, which is the service main support. And if you click on it, we have a role assignment, which is the read road that we specified. So now this is a very easy way to generate and dynamic secret for Azure service main support. As we have set five minutes of state time to life, let's wait for a few more minutes and we'll get back here and see if 
this um, secret will be really automatically erased. Five minutes later. Okay, it seems that five minutes has passed. So, yep. Let's see if it's deleted automatically. So let's copy the application ID again. Go back to our Archer portal. Remove this one. Try the searches again. And you can see here you know, this service principle has been automatically erased. So this is a very quick demonstration of having Condor as the service management as uh, secret management platform for managing uh, dynamic secret or just-in-time credentials for other service principles. Thanks.